initially we used any retractor system that you know basically had an attachment and would retract and then we found later on that you know it would come loose that the blades would rotate that they wouldn't maintain their position their access so now I have very specific preferences as to which type of retractors I use also if you're trying to do multiple cases in a day and, and move efficiently also keep the patient under anesthesia for the least amount of time possible you want to make sure that that maintains. So I have specific preferences as to the retractor that we use maintain its position, that it opens a certain way that allows you to maintain the same access without having to open it too wide and, and, and then placing more pressure on the esophagus, for example, and having patients wake up with dysphagia. So I like the Phantom system for a couple reasons. I, th I like the different options and blades that it provides. I like the holder that it provides so it's sturdy and it stays locked and that you have the ability to rotate it slightly if you choose to or lock it into place in a certain way. And then the distraction is symmetric. So uh, when using some of the retractor systems, they tend to, to fishtail when they open, so you want a symmetric distraction. Or the worst is when they open this way and then you don't have anything in the bottom that you still can't access. Those things are, are, are definitely an improvement compared to previous systems that I've utilized. The newest thing that I've sort of incorporated is a table mounted arm that allows us to limit the assistance holding the retractor. So that's nice because then they can actually function more as an assistant rather than sitting there holding instruments, which is more useful for us to expedite the surgery as well. The table mounted arm actually holds the retractor in place and it allows you to set it and then uh, sort of set it and forget it, which is what you're looking forward to in a retractor system. The pivoting technology in the Phantom Retractor becomes important because, as we mentioned, we want symmetric distraction. So what ends up happening is that uh, when you open something and your access points down here, you want the blades to open in such a way that if it opens slightly like this, you're able to tow it out so you're, you're not having to put too much pressure on the, on the incision and the vital structures around you so you can uh, maintain an opening and then just use the same smaller skin incision and still get uh, the same or better access. The locking mechanism is nice so that the actual distraction pins lock into the distraction. And so when the distractor is opened, it allows you to maintain that position and the, and the uh, distraction mechanism doesn't actually ride up on the pins themselves. The other thing that's nice is that there are two different sizes. There's a smaller and a, lo a longer variety also for smaller patients that hold it in place. And then anytime you're impacting, the, uh, the distractor doesn't ride up off the pins as well. The quick start mechanism is also nice because it actually has good feedback when you're advancing in the bone. So I did a couple of patients that have softer bone, but with limited turns, it allows you to actually have a seated position and, and, and it stays flush against the bone as well. So in talking about the quick start screws, uh, there's also a very limited number of turns. So it's nice because some of the other smaller uh, cast bar pins have smaller threads and so they require a lot more turns to get it. And uh, obviously when you're in uh, areas at the top or the bottom of the construct, you're always worried about uh, soft tissue creeping and then, and then winding it. So in, in doing that with limited turns, it allows you to do it, I think, safely and then also obviously more efficiently. Some of the older iterations had the swivel blades and they're frustrating because if you have to move or adjust slightly, a swivel on the blade will lose your entire axis, then you have to basically close, reset, and reopen it, which wastes time. And then, you know, every time you adjust the retractor, there's always a chance to have some variable uh, change in, in either what pressure points or something that, you know, uh, creep of some sort of tissue that you don't want in there. So we try to minimize that. And the fixed blade, once it stays and locks in there, uh, allows us to maintain that. We're always looking to improve our surgical workflow and the surgical experience every time we set foot in an OR. I think the, you know, the, the more time that you spend in the OR and the busier you get and the more cases that uh, you want to be efficient through, you want a system that reliably works for you. So that has interchangeable parts, that has arms that hold, the locking mechanism maintains, and that the staff knows how to use it again and again. Spending the time to make sure that the access is done correctly is one of the, the biggest things that you need to make sure that whatever system you choose to use, uh, for this reason I like the Phantom that uh, it reproducibly does the same thing every time and it does so in a, in a reliable manner that actually allows it to improve your exposure.